Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. I want to talk to you today. Uh, you might say this is almost a fourth uh, video on the spirit of freedom that we have. It's a marvelous thing to talk about and to think about, and it's an amazing thing to 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 un have the understanding of all that we've been set free from. Because when you know the truth, the truth shall make you free. And so we've talked about the spiritual side of eternity on that verse. We've talked about the the marvel of it for promises that we can seek to be free from our problems and our afflictions and our addictions and and the the, the things that give us problems. And we talked about the liberty and freedom side of things and the, the marvel of that verse you should know the truth and the truth should make you free but today I want to speak to you about something which I, I just believe needs to be spoken that if we're going to get the full counsel of God and it's very important we understand the full counsel of God and and this is the issue that in our liberty freedom we do not have the liberty to live any way that we want Jesus Christ went to the cross to take our sins and uh, and then the Apostle Paul tells us in Romans chapter 6 verse 1 he says what shall we say then shall we continue to sin that grace may abound in other words because there's grace to cover it should we keep sinning he says God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein we need to understand as a church we can't pick and choose what we want in the Bible we do not have liberty to sin just because we've been forgiven for our past sins. And I believe the scripture tells us over and over and over there's warnings all through the word of God about living a holy life. Now, what God does want us to do is where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let me read it to you. Second uh, Corinthians three seventeen. Now the where he says now the Lord is that spirit. So that spirit that we have been given is that spirit of the Lord. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. That means there's freedom. And then in the next verse, which we won't get into deeply, but I think it points to what our liberty is toward and should be toward. He says, But we all with open face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So as we look to Jesus, as we walk with Jesus, as we read His Word, as we study His Word, as we're obedient to, to Christianity and to living a life to please God, keeping our eyes on Jesus, we're running a race, we will be changed. And that's what he's saying here. We have liberty of the Lord, and by the Spirit of the Lord, we're changed into the image of Jesus Christ. But I think it's very important that as we get excited over the liberty we have and freedom that we have, that we do have a basic understanding that that our souls are at stake in this walk and we get sidetracked so easy. We're so we're so we are here's the word, we and unfortunately we are so human. We are, you know. It's so easy to get sidetracked about our freedom and liberty and we can live any way we want. We've been forgiven and we can start picking and choosing what we want. You see, God has given us a plan. He's given us a uh, the scriptures and, and he's told us some rights and wrongs and he's told us what is sin and that we should not walk in it and uh, and there's a very very important word be holy for I'm holy the Lord said in fact there's a powerful scripture that always stands out to me in Hebrews 12 14 he says follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord and he goes on giving Esau as an example of a man that sold his birthright but listen to me. Jesus Christ is a holy, holy Savior. In fact, if we look at the word holiness in the New Testament, we'll see just the word holiness, not the word holy. It's, I mean, the word holy is in there so many times, but the word holiness is in there several times. The Spirit of God is called the Spirit of Holiness. We are told that we are created in the Spirit of Holiness. The apostle tells us that we are to perfect holiness in our lives. That we are to uh, be unblameable and undefiled, perfecting holiness in the name of the Lord. And so holiness is a very, very important issue. Therefore, we can't just pick and choose and say, well, I'm free. Yay, I'm free. I can live any way I want. 
we are to grow in knowledge of this as well and recognize that it's really about our souls and reaching other people with their souls. It's about eternity, and we need to remember that. The apostles came back, casting out demons, raising the dead, healing the sick, and they came back excited over all the stuff because the, even the demons were subject to the name of Jesus. And Jesus says, don't rejoice because of the demons being subject unto you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. He was trying to say, keep your focus. It's so easy for us to lose our focus. You know, it's, it's very important that we live a life of holiness for the Lord. You know, there's a, some scriptures that are very sobering, and that's why I, I, I think of it in a way as, as sobering. There were some uh, people doing the works of God in the name of Jesus, and they came, he says, he says, Jesus said this, he says, there's going to be many come to me and say, Lord, Lord, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not do many mighty works in your name? And, uh, and he's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. It's not the works uh, that makes holiness, it's the heart that makes holiness. And God is looking at your heart. Is your motive right? Are you seeking holiness? Are you seeking to please God through a holy life and a righteous life? We were even created, the scripture says, we were, we were created in righteousness and holiness. And so I just want you to know, this is I know this is one of those serious messages, but we can't take half the gospel. You don't want a little bit of gospel that's, that's true and not get the whole thing. We, we shouldn't be like a lopsided egg, you know. We, we have to have the whole counsel of God if we're going to walk with God and please God the way that you should want to please God if you're walking with God. And so I just want you to understand that that we are to cleanse ourselves of all unrighteousness to the best of our ability, expect and hope and pray for God to help you with that and to cleanse you on the inside when you blow it and sin. Uh, but we need to recognize that our liberty and our freedom does not extend to the freedom to live any way we want. We lived to serve our Lord. Love the Lord thy God with all his heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbors yourself. Love the Lord. Keep your eyes on him, and he will change you into his image. Well, this is uh, Pastor Talk for you, and I'm Pastor Steve, and God bless you as you seek to follow the Lord and walk in a holy life, pleasing unto Him, and God bless you.